Culinary Fusion in SWASH Initiatives Promoting Public Transportation Cycling Infrastructure and electric mobility become integral components of urban planning. The commitment to sustainable transportation reflects a broader vision of environmental stewardship, where the way people move within urban spaces contributes to the overall well-being of the environment. Digital storytelling innovation Digital innovation, digital innovation, from podcasts to interactive online experiences, become mediums through which narratives are woven with technological finesse. The intersection of tradition and innovation in storytelling reflects a dynamic approach to preserving and sharing cultural narratives in the digital age. Psycho, social support systems, and community well-being. In the realm of mental health, Eswatini prioritizes psycho, social link services, digmatize mental detail, BL, supportive environment. The holistic approach to well-being extends beyond physical health recognizing the interconnected nature of mental and social health and fostering resilient communities. Cultural hybridity and artistic synthesis. The artistic landscape of Eswatini embraces cultural hybridity as artists explore the synthesis of traditional and contemporary influences. The fusion of veritic elements becomes all the channel through which tradition is reinterpreted and reinvented, contributing to the ever evolving narrative of Swazi art. E governance for inclusive participation. Eswatini's governance structure evolves towards E for inclusive citizen participation in decision making processes. Digital platforms become channels for transparent communication between the Tsiboys, Fazatois, and the Eri Tsiboys, Appropriation, Awareness, and Sensitivity. In a globalized world, Eswatini fosters cultural appropriation, awareness, and sensitivity, recognizing the importance of preserving cultural integrity, fostering a global environment where diverse cultures are respected. The nation becomes an advocate for the thoughtful exchange of cultural ideas that honors the roots from which they spring. Youth empowerment and innovative leadership. Eswatini's vision for the future, with a focus on fostering innovative leadership among the younger generation. Educational programs mentorship initiatives, and platforms for youth-led innovation become integral components of the nation's developmental tapestry. The nation envisions a future where the energy of its youth contributes significantly to shaping a progressive and sustainable society. Cultural connectivity in the diaspora force that transcends geographical distances, fostering a sense of belonging among Swazis living in different parts of the world. Cultural diplomacy initiatives actively engage with the diaspora, inclusive design and accessible infrastructure. In urban development, 
as Watini embraces the principles of inclusive design, ensuring that infrastructure is accessible to all citizens. From public status that the nation has some, 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 some needs of the population. The vision for accessible infrastructure reflects a commitment to creating environments where every citizen, regardless of physical abilities, can actively participate in the social and economic life of the nation. Human Rights Advocacy and Global Justice As Watini emerges, as an advocate for human rights on the International Human Rights Forums to diplomatic efforts and International Human Rights Forums throwing that shall be contributes to the collective pursuit of a world where every individual enjoys the full spectrum of human rights. The exploration of cultural psychology becomes a significant dimension in understanding societal well-being in Eswatini. The interplay between cultural values collective psyche, and individual mental health becomes a subject of study and application. The nation raised the impact of cultural benishes on September. Swaziland became independent with Sabhusa I as head of state. Over the next few years, Sabhusa I created and equipped a private secret army. On April, with the support of his private militia, Subhusa, I repealed the Constitution and dissolved Parliament. On April, he now held absolute power in Switzerland. A new Constitution was adopted which reflected calls across the country was established. The local Coca-Cola those, uh, 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 traditionalists, strong supporters of the monarchy. In Sabuza, I set up a traditional tribal advisory panel, the Supreme Council of State, or Likako. Sabuza, he was a strong proponent of polygamy. He married into prominent families and is reported to have had at least wives and up to children. At the time of his death, he had over grandchildren. So Visa I Switzerland was able to more powerful neighbors, both apartheid dominated South Africa and Marxist Mozambique. The country developed its natural resources expanding iron and asbestos mining. Tourism also became an important element of the economy during his reign. The largest man made commercial forest is found in Switzerland. King Sophusa I died on August. He was succeeded by one of his sons, Makosadiv, who became Miswadi I I Modern Century. Swaziland has witnessed increased pressure from opposition groups seeking a limitation of the king's powers and a move towards a more democratic government. The king has been resistant to such changes, maintaining a system that centralizes power within the monarchy. Despite these challenges, political stability remains a characteristic of the nation. 
After the passing of some fusi and contemporary issues, after the Rod, Flamini ascended to the throne as King Maswati I N. Maswati I. Maswati I continued his father's legacy, ruling with a small group of advisors known as the Council of Ministers. The king's leadership has faced scrutiny, particularly regarding issues such as political freedoms and democratic governance. Additionally, during men from having sex with teenage girls for a specified prohibiting men from having sex with teenage girls for a five period on